this how this is how perfect it felt that day. I needed to feel like this again. So in order for it to feel like this again, I need to go back to that same mindset. So I'm not physically here. I'm mentally in that same state that I was in when nobody else was here. It was just me doing exactly what I do. The fans are just a perk now I'm putting on for y'all to show y'all what I do in practice. I think a lot of people that that's that's how I go about it. But I know a lot of people can relate to it as well. That's how I am in all sports, to be honest. Do you ever have any doubt when it comes to these things, or is that out the window from the practice? That's out the window. Because as soon as you doubt, that's when you start thinking. And that's when you pull a JR moment. No shots at JR, no shade at JR Smith, but that's when you pull a JR Smith moment. He's not a person to go out and really no, – no basketball player really sit there and just think. It's more like I said, if you, if you got it like that and you know how to tap into that, to those, you know, type of mentalities, you'll be in that mentality. But right then when JR caught that ball and he dribbled out and looked at LeBron, it was like, oh, he started thinking. He started, there was a doubt somewhere. If I get this, I don't know if I want to do this or this. Instead of being, if I get this, I'm about to shoot it because this is what I practice on. This is why I'm here. This is why I get paid. This is right, what I'm supposed to do. Right, you it up there, honestly. This is why you get paid. This is what I do. I practice this 24-7. He don't have to go to school no more. Mm -hmm. I had to go to school and still had to find that mentality. You feel me? So it's, that's why that's what I try to get to. Like if you if you think you'll have a JR moment, no lie. And I, and I think that's applicable to um to anybody and anybody who spends a lot of time doing anything, right? It doesn't matter if it's a sport or you're a singer or you know, you do lots of podcasts, whatever it is, if you do right. stop like the sim similar to you like when I but when I it's funny because when I will play a sport um mm -hmm. sometimes against people who are, are a new sport let's say I will have doubts at the beginning because I didn't put the work in but for something that I did put the work in like you have no doubt about it why would I you're wait you're waiting for somebody else to step in your lane so you can show them exactly um mm -hmm. but when you haven't put that work in you do and I think that's just because you see, and I, it's more like you'll see somebody else, like how good they are and how they're presenting their stuff. That's where, that's where some people get that doubt from because they feel like, ooh, I'm not looking like that. But I mean, I'm pretty good. But I'm not looking like that. <laughs> Instead of going out there and worrying about you. That's why I came up with my brand, Bag Village. You stay, once you stay in your bag and you stay in your lane, you have nothing else to worry about. You're not worried about if you worry about somebody else's bag, that's how you get messed up because you're stepping in a lane that you're not familiar with. Mind your business and keep doing you. That's how you succeed, and that's how you see your goals achieved. That's how you achieve all your goals. A hundred percent. I'm so glad you touched on that.